What's up guys? My name's Dustin. I go by Limestone Picker here on YouTube. And today we've got a few things that I bought off eBay. First up, we got this bag right here. Uh, this was $12 plus shipping. Um, you may not think that it's worth it. Uh, that really doesn't matter because it was worth it. But, uh, some uh, kind of odd items, honestly. I mean, uh, I have some save searches that I check regularly. And this was in an auction with no bid on it at all. And uh, I was like, well, that's weird because those things are certainly worth money. Um, I'm not sure why nobody had bid on it, but first up, we've got some, uh, 2003 SpongeBob house slippers. So, um, I don't know what these are worth. These alone will probably pay for the lot. Uh, so I, I would, I would honestly, I would appraise these between 15 and $20. They're vintage SpongeBob, 2003, I think that was still the green label. But uh, like, if somebody had these as a kid and they had nostalgia for them, or say they wanted to get them for their kid, you can't go to Walmart and buy these right now. So you're gonna have to go to me. By the way, my eBay link is in the description below. So, I mean, if you see anything you like on here, it might be on eBay. Go check it out. Next up, we have 2002 SpongeBob underoos. So, uh, one of the things that I have saved in my searches are uh, Power Rangers in Space briefs. Because those are ridiculously expensive. And if somebody posts them for cheap, I'm gonna buy them so I can resell them for stupid amounts of money. These, I would probably guess, are worth like 15 to $20, maybe. The last thing in that lot is a book bag, and it's got the orange label right there. This is from 2002, and it's a SpongeBob book bag. It's got his face on there, and then it's got the logo right there. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's like, overall, it's in really good condition. I would, I don't know, I'd appraise this at like $20 maybe. There's profit to be made. We'll make profit. Don't you question my profit-making ability, because we're going to do it. And uh, the next box we have is right here. Uh, I bought this for one reason. Um, I really like getting new Nickelodeon VHS tapes. But, uh, I don't know, my thrift stores are never that great for finding Nickelodeon VHS tapes. Granted, I found a bunch of them at my thrift stores, but it just, it takes so long to find them. So, <clears throat> I figured that I would go looking for lots on eBay, and uh, I lucked out. I got another one coming in the mail, but this one was pretty good. The other one's even cooler, but... Uh, first up in this lot, we've got a VHS copy of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. So I've told it on the channel before. Uh, I don't know how this was promoted to me as a child. I just remember, because the movie came out before the TV show. I remember this movie came out. I didn't see it in theaters, but for some reason, my mom got it for me on DVD, and I loved it. This was a great movie. But uh, I don't remember how it got to the point where I was like, Jimmy Neutron, I want to see that. I didn't know what Jimmy Neutron was. Nobody did. Don't act like you knew what it was. Next up, we've got the Rugrats movie. So there are a couple VHSs that I pick up anytime that I see them. Those being, uh, one, the Rugrats movie. Anytime I see this and it's under like a dollar or two, I'm going to pick it up. I don't know why. I got a problem. The second one's gonna be Power Rangers the movie. Gonna buy every copy of this. I love this movie. This is a great movie. I don't care what you say. Third one, 
is going to be Pokemon, the first movie. And the last one, this is the one that I have way too many copies of. I've got like one in the collection. I've got one that I keep on standby to put in the VCR. It's on right now. It's, it's Space Jam. It's in the VCR right now. I don't know if you could hear that, but it's on right now. I've got like eight copies down here at my feet. But uh, anytime I see Space Jam, I buy it. I love Space Jam. But these are the four movies that if I see them and they're under $2, I'm going to get them. I don't know, I thought that uh, when we start doing giveaways and stuff, like, I would give away my favorite movies. Those are some of my favorite movies. Those are definitely some of my favorite nostalgia movies, like childhood movies, because they were in my collection when I was a kid. That and Barney, but I don't like Barney. Anyways, back to the, v the VHSs we got. We've got a pack of them right here. Okay, so first up, the uh, least exciting one is Rugrats Discover America. It's in there. Uh, I don't really care to have Nickelodeon tapes past 2000. I, I, something about me, like if it's nostalgic to me, it's before 2000. Like SpongeBob's nostalgic to me, but he was also before 2000. But I watched that show like deep into the 2000s. Uh, by 2005, I had my first little brother. He was into SpongeBob also, so I continued watching it. But uh, like Rugrats, I past the movie. It's not. I loved all growing up, but like as far as Rugrats went, wasn't my cup of tea. Next up, we got. I think this is the first uh, Rugrats tape, and it is Tales from the Crib. I don't think that I have this one, so this one's gonna be going in the collection. Uh, but it's in there. So this is a really clean copy also. 1996. Next up, we have Fairly Odd Parents, Timmy's Top Wishes. And it's in there. I, I really enjoyed Fairly Odd Parents. Like, it was really good. Uh, one of my first GameCube games was Breaking the Rules. Never got past, like, third level but i love that game but uh yeah so i mean i really liked the fairly odd parents i wouldn't say it was like one of my favorite shows but i definitely watched it a bunch next up we have this is not in that great a condition but it's jimmy neutron i don't think that i have a jimmy neutron uh vhs tape this may be the first one but it's when pants attack i'm pretty sure that's the first episode of uh jimmy neutron boy genius so uh it's in there and yeah the last tape this is the whole reason i bought the whole thing so this tape alone is worth 20 upwards of 20 dollars like you might could find it for like 16 but it's probably not gonna be that in that good a condition but uh this is why i bought it i think the total value of this with shipping everything was like 35 dollars and i got all these tapes uh, but I got it for Clarissa Explains It All. Right there. Uh, this is dating. So, Melissa Joan Hart is going to teach you about... There's free stickers inside? There's no stickers inside. But the tape's in there. That's good. Uh, I wish the stickers were in there, but they're not. Um, that's depressing. But yeah, you got four episodes back there. Um, the next lot of Nickelodeon VHSs that I got, I did get some more. I did. I told you earlier, but they're all Nickelodeon. Um, most of them are in this like style box, uh, that black border, whatever it is. And then this, I've got a few of them. I've got a Doug tape like this and I've got two Ren and Stimpy ones like this. So the really early Nickelodeon tapes, they were all in like this format. Like, yeah, you get it. I don't have to explain it to you, but uh, I think three of them in this next lot are like that. But the reason that I bought that next lot is because I rented one of the tapes from a uh, movie gallery and I really want to watch it. So, uh, but that tape's also expensive, but I got it at a good deal because it was in a lot. So yeah, that's what we got off of eBay. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a little fun along the way if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. So, 
Let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10, don't even waste your money. And 10 being, oh my God, so good. I'm going to give this, man, I was impressed. Better than I thought it was going to be. I would give it a 91. 